Since 1996, NASA has launched five rovers to Mars. NASA's first rover was Sojourner. It was designed primarily to demonstrate a low-cost way of delivering a set of science instruments and a free-ranging rover to the surface of the Red Planet. The Mars Pathfinder and Sojourner was launched December 4, 1996 and landed on Mars Ares Vallis on July 4, 1997. It was designed as a technology demonstration of a new way to deliver an instrumented lander. Sojourner is a small, six-wheel robotic vehicle built at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. She weighs in at a sleek 11.5 kilograms and is about the size of a milk crate. It's also the first ever robotic rover to the surface of the Red Planet. Pathfinder not only accomplished this goal but also returned an unprecedented amount of data and outlived its primary design life. Sojourner generates most of her power using a lightweight solar array. The rover is equipped with an Alpha Proton X-ray spectrometer, which is used to determine the elemental composition of rocks and soils. A close-up of Sojourner as it placed its Alpha Proton X-ray spectrometer upon the surface of the rock Yogi, was taken by the imager for Mars Pathfinder. Sojourner spent 83 days of a planned seven-day mission exploring the Martian terrain, acquiring images, and taking chemical, atmospheric and other measurements. After the success of Mars Pathfinder, NASA sent two rovers with ambitious goals in mind, named Spirit and Opportunity to Mars in 2004. The two rovers were managed by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Spirit, also known as a Mars Exploration Rover A, was a robotic rover on Mars, active from 2004 to 2010. Spirit landed successfully within the impact crater Gusev on Mars on January 2004, three weeks before its twin, Opportunity, which landed on the other side of the planet. The rover continued in a stationary science platform role until communication with Spirit stopped on March 2010. The rovers are equipped with a panoramic camera as known by its nickname, PanCam. Two cameras work in combination to take detailed, multi-wavelength, 3D panoramic pictures of the Martian landscape surrounding the rover. The Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer, also called the APXS, reveals the elemental chemistry of rocks and soils by measuring the distinctive way difference materials respond to two kinds of radiation. X-rays and alpha particles. The rock abrasion tool on the Mars Exploration Rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, is known as the RAT. The RAT's rotating, grinding teeth gnaw into the surface of Martian rock to reveal fresh mineral surfaces for analysis by the rover's scientific tool. The high-gain antenna can send a beam of information in a specific direction and it is steerable, so the antenna can move to point itself directly to any antenna on Earth. Opportunity was the second of the two rovers launched in 2003 to land on Mars and begin traversing the Red Planet in search of signs of past life. The rover has far outlasted her planned 90-day mission. Since landing on Mars in 2004, Opportunity has made a number of discoveries about the Red Planet. A dramatic evidence that long ago at least one area of Mars stayed wet for an extended period, and that conditions could have been suitable for sustaining microbial life. The Opportunity rover stopped communicating with Earth when a severe Mars-wide dust storm blanketed its location in June 2018. Opportunity worked nearly 15 years on Mars and broke the driving record for putting the most miles on the odometer. Following the success of Spirit and Opportunity, NASA sent Curiosity to Mars, their largest and most capable rover ever. It landed on Gale Crater, August. 2012. Early in its mission, Curiosity's scientific tools found chemical and mineral evidence of past habitable environments on Mars. It continues to explore the rock record from a time when Mars could have been home to microbial life. 
Mars Science Laboratory arrived at Mars through technological innovations that tested a completely new landing method. The spacecraft descended on a parachute then during the final seconds before landing, the landing system fired rockets to allow it to hover while a tether lowered Curiosity to the surface. The rover landed on its wheels, the tether was cut, and the landing system flew off to crash land a safe distance away. One thing that makes Curiosity stand out is its sheer size. Curiosity is about the size of a small SUV. It is about 3 meters in length, 2.8 meter wide, and about 2.1 meter high. It weighs 900 kilograms. The Mars Hand Lens Imager, called MOLLE, is the rover's version of the magnifying hand lens that geologists usually carry with them into the field. MOLLE close-up images reveal the minerals and textures in rock surfaces. The chemistry and camera tool is known as ChemCam. ChemCam's laser, camera and spectrograph work together to identify the chemical and mineral composition of rocks and soils. The sample analysis at Mars tool is called SAM. SAM is made up of three different instruments that search for and measure organic chemicals and light elements that are important ingredients potentially associated with life. Curiosity does not rely on solar cells for its energy needs but rather draws its electric power from a thermoelectric power generator. With the heat source being the radioactive decay of plutonium, and the heat sink being Mars's atmosphere. The Mars 2020 Perseverance rover will search for signs of ancient microbial life, which will advance NASA's quest to explore the past habitability of Mars. The rover has a drill to collect core samples of Martian rock and soil, then store them in sealed tubes for pickup by a future mission that would ferry them back to Earth for detailed analysis. Perseverance will also test technologies to help pave the way for future human exploration of Mars. Strapped to the rover's belly for the journey to Mars is a technology demonstration, the Mars helicopter, Ingenuity, may achieve a Wright Brothers moment by testing the first powered flight on the Red Planet. Let's take a closer look into Perseverance various equipment. The Mars Oxygen in Situ Resource Utilization Experiment or MOXIE, is a technology demonstration that can produce oxygen from Martian atmospheric carbon dioxide. The Mastcam Z is an advanced camera system with panoramic and stereoscopic imaging. It also has the ability to zoom. Next is the Supercam. An instrument that can provide imaging, chemical composition analysis, and mineralogy at a distance. This planetary instrument for X-ray lithochemistry or PIXL, an X-ray fluorescence spectrometer and high-resolution imager is used to map the fine-scale elemental composition of Martian surface materials. The scanning habitable environments with Raman and luminescence for organics and chemicals is a spectrometer that provide fine-scale imaging and uses an UV laser to map mineralogy and organic compounds. The radar imager for Mars Subsurface Experiment or RIM-FAX, is a ground-penetrating radar that can provide centimeter-scale resolution of the geologic structure of the subsurface. And finally, the Mars Environmental Dynamics Analyzer or META. META is a set of sensors that can provide measurements of temperature, wind speed and direction, pressure, relative humidity, and dust size and shape. Engineers at JPL demonstrated that it was possible to build an aircraft that was lightweight and able to generate enough lift in Mars' thin atmosphere. If successful, these technologies could enable other advanced robotic flying vehicles that might be included in future robotic and human missions to Mars. Ingenuity is equipped with blades made of carbon fiber foam, solar panel to help keep battery charged, and antennas to communicate with the rover. It also has sensors to collect data and cameras to help the helicopter see Mars landscape. 
Finally, the avionics and body or brains help the helicopter function and navigate. NASA's first rover on Mars was modest. Sojourner, the size of a microwave oven, demonstrated in 1997 that a robot could rove on the Red Planet. NASA's next Mars rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, were each the size of a golf cart. After landing in 2004, they discovered evidence that the planet once hosted running water before becoming a frozen desert. The car-sized Curiosity rover landed in 2012. Curiosity discovered that its landing site, Gale Crater, hosted a lake billions of years ago and an environment that could have supported microbial life. Perseverance aims to take the next step, seeking, as a primary goal, to answer one of the key questions of astrobiology. Are there potential signs of past microbial life, or biosignatures on Mars? So, what is your favorite rover? If you have any suggestions or request, leave your comments below. Like and subscribe for more upcoming animations.